guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we all know by now that Good Note 6 just came out and I wanted to get this video out because I know there has been a lot of questions. Um, and excuse the makeshift setup and my voice just because I'm currently on vacation, so I'm just doing what I can because I really wanted to get this up. Okay, so Good Note 6 just came out and I wanted to walk you guys through some of the pricing and the new features, the comparison between Good Notes 5, Good Notes 6, because I know there's been a lot of questions about it. And I will put down in the time bar below, like the different sections, if you want to go to a specific section, but I'm going to kind of walk you through everything from the beginning. Okay, so first up, I wanted to talk about pricing. So again, there's definitely a free version similar to how Good Notes 5 has been with the three notebooks. And there's, of course, a couple of features here as well. And so when you switch over, they give you the option to do the free trial first, which is what I did before you want to go and pay for it, even if you had a paid version of Good Notes 5, which is what I had. And then how the pricing structure works is it's a subscription or a one-time fee. The subscription is $9.99 USD per year, or you can pay once for $29.99. Basically, if you know that you're going to be using GoodNote 6 for at least three years, it's obviously more worth it to buy the one-time fee. But I mean, the first thing that came to my mind was how quickly will they up update for GoodNote 7? If it's gonna happen within three years and we're gonna be asked to pay for it again, then obviously it's not gonna be worth it. So I'm a little unsure about this one. If they're going to keep this structure where if they update to GoodNote 7 and you've already paid the $30, you just get the GoodNote 7, then obviously that's gonna be worth it because I know I'll be using GoodNotes for more than three years. So it's a bit tricky on that one. For me, I'll probably just end up paying the $29 99 um, but it's up to you guys on that okay and with the paid version of course you get unlimited notebooks and a whole bunch of other features one of the main ones here of course is the unlimited audio recordings and then unlimited access to this interactive exam practice material which is something new that's in good note 6 and I'll talk about all of the features after and then here it says you also get bonus stickers template stationery as well as you're able to export documents without watermark. And I guess these bottom two here are just um, the premium features that also came with GoodNotes 5 because I was able to do these in GoodNotes 5. Okay, so that's kind of the pricing structure for those who are wondering. And then, so the next thing that I wanted to give you guys an overview of first is what are the new features between GoodNotes 5 and the GoodNotes 6 app? So I took this straight from the Good Notes site. So it's coming from the source and it's saying what's the difference between the two versions. And here are the new features that come with the Good Notes 6 version and I'm gonna take you through each of them. So now we have a brand new user interface, which I kind of like. I've only been playing with it for really a day, but I find it's like a lot cuter. The icons and everything are rounder and I think the layout of it just makes a bit more sense. So I really do enjoy the new user interface. And then there's, um, you can color your folders as well as add custom icons. And then there's two new pen gestures, which is scribble to erase something in your words, which I love. And also a cool one is that you can circle to lasso something. Then there's handwriting word complete as well as handwriting spell check. I think the two of them are pretty similar. And then you have the exam practice we mentioned before. AI typing tools is part of the paid version. I'll do a separate video on this afterwards because I'm still on the free trial one. I will be upgrading to the pro version of course, but I just haven't had time while I was on vacation to figure it out. And then it says that there's going to be more features to come. So we obviously don't know about that one. Okay, so let's go through each of these in the new GoodNotes 6 app. Okay, so the new interface. So first I just wanted to show you how the app looks. See here, that's the new um, logo and it's kind of cute, I would say is the best way to describe it. And then if you go in to the app, let me just zoom you in a little bit. Okay, here. So hopefully that's um, close enough for you guys to see, but you can kind of tell that the icons now are just a little bit cuter. They're a bit rounder. I know I'm going to be saying that so many times, but I feel like that's just the best way to describe them. Don't they just look a bit cuter? And now you'll see that the um, backspace is now at the front and the magnifying tool, which used to be up here, is now at the back. And I think this layout just makes a lot more sense. 
Then at the top here, you have the three different um, types of inputs, I guess. So here is the writing, obviously with a pencil, and then the middle one is typing. And so you have all the typing settings. And then the last one is the record, if you wanna do audio, okay? And it just records something for you. And it just shows up here in the audio recording section if you wanted to go listen to those afterwards. So that's kind of the user interface. And um, I just think this makes a lot more sense. The layout of it makes a lot more sense. Cutesiness, it, it's nice, but I liked it before as well. But I do like how they sorted it by um, input style. I think that just makes a lot more sense. The back button is now up here, which I think makes sense. I don't know. I just think this all makes a lot of sense. And then also let me just go to the main section here, um, which is when you first go into GoodNotes, you will see obviously all of your documents here. A lot of people I've seen questions about concerns of if things transferred over smoothly, if they had any issues, and I did not have any issues with the transfer of my files. I just did the straight update and I had no issues in terms of like losing anything. And um, I think that's a pretty basic function that was not an issue when it was an upgrade from GoodNotes 4 to GoodNotes 5, so I wasn't concerned about that at all. Okay, so the next feature here is the colored folders with custom icons. I'm just gonna show you that next. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. In your documents, with any folder, you can now change it to a different color as well as add an icon. So you see that here, the default is kind of this blue color that it was before, and let's say I wanna change it to pink. You just click on pink. And the icon, let's say I wanted to add a little icon, a little smiley, and now you'll see that that's what my folder looks like. So it's really simple. You just click on that little drop down, and you can now change the colors as well as add an icon. Okay, so the next one, these are pretty exciting, I think, is the pen gestures. So let me show you that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into my planner and find a spot here on my planner. I did some handwriting practice here. <laughs> okay. So let's do the first hand gesture, which is scribble, okay? So if I'm writing a word, let's just say I wanna write vacation. And let's say I make a boo-boo here, okay? What I can do is just scribble to erase. Isn't that so cool? So again, you'll see I just scribble and it erases everything. So that's the first um, hand gesture. And then I'm gonna show you how you can now lasso with a circle. So let me just write lasso, and then let's say I put a circle around it, right? Now, when you tap the circle, it turns into the lasso. Isn't that so cool? So again, scribble. Okay, so let's go on to the next one, which is handwriting complete and handwriting spell check. So I will do kind of those two at the same time. So let's say I am writing here, um, birthday so you see that it underlines it right and I didn't complete the word so then you just tap it so then it kind of tells you either to correct the word or you can it finishes the word for you right so either you're trying to say it's birth so you could hit birth and it would get rid of the D for you and change it for you okay so I just wrote it again what you can do is have it auto fill for you instead of correcting your words so I wrote birth DA and you can hit birthday and it changes it to birthday for you. So that's kind of the autocomplete and the um, spell check, which is pretty cool. Okay, so one that I'm gonna share with you, actually before we talk about this interactive exam practice is to do with math as well. I'm surprised they didn't specifically list it here because they talk about it in the promo videos and that is them being able to convert a formula now. So let me show you. Okay, so now what you can do is say I do a formula. So I do 10 times 11 equals 110. Just something really simple, right? And then I go like this. I lasso it and then you can hit convert. So before you could do this for text and now you can do this for math. So I hit the math and it changes it to math for me. Now you can do something a lot more complex. So if you did like um, long division, like, you know, this kind of thing, or if you're in doing algebra, and you have very complex formulas, now you are able to convert all those formulas into a 
text type formula, you know what I mean? So that it's not all handwritten. Okay, so the last feature I'm gonna show you guys is that interactive exam prep. So in the main menu where all your documents are, you'll see at the bottom, there's a marketplace. So when you hit marketplace and you go into there, there'll be a section for interactive exam prep. And you'll see in here, there are kind of these three courses that you can take. So here they have the SAT math practice course. They have um, an English course as well as the Chinese course. And actually my Chinese is pretty terrible and I've been thinking about um, trying to improve. So I might actually try to use this one and I can show you guys some more videos once I start to get to play around with this after vacation. But this I think is like the standard language course, like the main language course to learn Chinese. So this might actually be quite helpful. So um, this is where you can find it. And if you do the pay version, I believe that you have more courses to choose from, which I think is pretty awesome that it's like a built in course within GoodNotes. And I'm just thinking that maybe this allows you to like hand write and practice as well oh so there you go i can import it as a new document now that it's been downloaded and so you'll see that this is kind of what it looks like when you first go in now i can't actually read chinese so none of this makes sense to me but but i can go to the very bottom and i'll see that there's this start practicing area and i guess paper one i could hit practice and yeah, so I can't read any of this, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to play around with that or learn this, but that's what you do with the exam practice. So those are basically all of the new features. Any other questions, please let me know down below. Anything else you guys wanna see, just let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.